Hey, how's it going on? You lovely people at Shut Door or Door Shutter coming back to you with a brand new episode of the Direwolf 21.20 mod pack. Today is episode 39, and we are looking at getting some demon will uh, here from Blood Magic, which is why we have these soul snares that we created last episode. And what we need to do is just throw them at a mob, wait for white particle effects, and then kill them. And that will result in demon will. I already had two on me just because I went and grabbed a couple just to make sure this still works the same way I remember. And it does, so we're just going to keep uh, keep going here. Okay, so that is a handful of demon will. Let's fly up so we can stop getting shot there. Um, it looks like, yeah, we've got some decent ones, actually. we got fours, fours and, and ones and things like that. So let's just snag it from this creeper here. Of course, if you miss, the soul snare is gone permanently, which is no real big deal, I would think, because... They're just string and a blood altar. Nothing too fancy. Oh, and uh, we got our first creeper spawn egg here. The uh, sword now has capture two, scavenger two, looting nine, or sharpness nine and looting five. I got an axe from a wandering trader called the bone chipper, bone breaker. And uh, I was able to actually, I think he's still right here. This guy right here. Uh, I was able to trade, yeah, the Bone Splitter. Sharpness 10, Mending, Scavenger 2, Capture 2, Looting 5, Unbreaking 3. I went and took that axe and then threw it in the uh, Disenchanter over in the in the uh, Void Dimension and was able to quickly get that uh, going, which is fantastic, right? Now we have the ability to get Spawn Eggs and everything, and we really didn't have to get into Apotheosis Enchanting, which is good. Uh, Scavenger 2, by the way... If you read here, mobs killed may roll their loot table twice, which would allow for you to get, uh, you know, a potential of getting multiple spawn eggs or multiple, you know, drops of gunpowder or whatever you really need. So that's pretty cool overall anyway. All right. Also, you'll see that the industrial foregoing souls thing is gone. Uh, it's actually down here. It's under the altar. We're going to use this for the blood altar, purely for the blood altar right now. But uh, that's going to definitely help us out. So... We want to look at a Hell Forge, I believe is what this is called. If it's been changed or not. I think it's... Yeah, this thing right here. Hellfire Forge, that's what it's called. So we need a blank slate, which is stone. Let's grab our sacrificial knife here. Okay. Throw some stone in there. That'll give us a blank slate. Okay. So, Hellfire Forge. Perfect. And we're going to take this. Just make sure we're kind of in the same area. You don't need to have it next to the blood altar. I just want it near it. Um, we need this to get some Tataric Gems. Uh, which I'm going to probably butcher spelling. These things right here. So, Petty Tataric Gem. Tartaric. There we go. Uh, we'll bookmark that. So we need gold, redstone, lapis, and glass. So gold, redstone, lapis, and glass. Okay. So we can just toss all these in here. And we're going to toss in some demon will. And that should give us enough to make the gem. Perfect. And basically, it just subtracted the amount from that will. So we had 4.49, uh, I believe, and now we have 3.49. So we're going to drop this will. I think this is how we do it here. And the actual Tataric Gem will pick it up. There we go. And for the next one, uh, which is the next tier right here, the Lesser Tataric Gem, uh, this requires a minimum of 60 will, but it'll drain 20. So we need to get this to 60 before we can do anything. Do we have access to the Sentinel Sword thing? Or Sentient Sword? How do we make that? So we actually could make this. The Sentient Sword. Okay. I think we'll just use some Snull Snares for now. Just because it might be easier. So let's grab some String. Let me make up a handful more of these and we'll be right back. All right, so we are on to the next tier here. Um, I think we actually need to make one more Petty Tataric Gem real quick. 
So we're kind of there, but we're kind of not. So I need to actually go get, uh, put this in a bag real quick and grab one more mob. Um, can we actually just quickly soul... Nope, they just despawned right in front of me. Um, one of the things I wanted to mention, how to make it nighttime pretty quickly, get a hammock from Comforts. And once it's the daytime, you can actually sleep. So if you wanted to, you could actually grab a white sleeping bag or just a sleeping bag. Sleep when it's almost, you know, daytime. It's it's not working. Hold on. Let me be right back. There we go. It just has to be up further in the day. But this will make it nighttime. Uh, basically immediately. So you can see the sun's over there. It was over here. And then that way we can actually start getting a little bit more demon will. So we can actually get... Then one more Tataric gem that we need to then combine it to make it a better one, uh, which is the lesser. And then, of course, the lesser goes to common, and then common goes to the greater. But the greater actually requires different types of demon will, uh, which is all of this stuff, which we will get into. So we won't be able to get the greater one just yet. Um, but yeah, that'll be okay. I don't know what in the world some of this other stuff is. Tons of different, like, shaped charges. No idea. Quickly, just wanted to mention, uh, if you have a Lesser Tataric and a Petty Tataric, so basically, whichever tier you have higher, uh, you can transfer the actual will from the Lesser version by just right-clicking it. Uh, of course, you could switch it back and forth, but uh, we just pushed all of the Petty Tataric into the Lesser Tataric, so that way we have to fill it up just a little bit less. Uh, and that's just something I wanted to mention, so you don't have to go and get a whole bunch of more will you can kind of take whatever uh, you have remaining, which should be about 30 after chain after making it. Uh, and I don't know about like this one, which requires... So this one requires a minimum of 240 and drains 50. So yeah, it just kind of changes. Uh, we actually won't be able to get this one because we have not made it to tier 3. So it looks like they have changed up the recipes just a little bit here, uh, which is fine. That is okay. So... This stuff is used, of course, a little bit further down the line, but it is kind of important to just kind of have that baseline. Um, we can start looking at getting um, getting this going, right? Uh, and I think what we'll do is we'll kind of have this be our um, blood altar maker, or the blood maker, right? Basically, my plan is to get this one to be our central one that produces all of the blood. Uh, and then it has the augments and everything to be able to push more out. And we'll get into all the augments and stones, or runes, I think, in this case, ruins. Um, let's see. All of this stuff. Because there's a whole bunch of different kinds, and there's actually reinforced ones and things like that now. So we have a lot of different things to look at. But basically, this has a limit of how much it can transfer in and out. Uh, but this actually will tell us everything we kind of need to know about the runes. Uh, so Blood Altar, Tears of Slates, Redstone Automation stuff, Soul Network, uh, Blood Runes right here. So um, there's like the... Let's see, I think... Displacement. The displacement increased the flow rate of life essence in and out of the altar. Okay, so it's both. I didn't... I couldn't remember. So basically, we could allow for this to push more uh to another altar basically uh, i don't i mean this one i'm kind of trying to think that's why i'm kind of like not completing sentences by the way so the rune the displacement rune would help us push more into an altar but also take more out of this one is kind of what i'm getting at right so we need to have both uh in that case to be able to use this altar uh, let's actually look quickly at the Sacrificial Sword. Uh, I think there's a dagger. Is it called a dagger? Yeah, the Dagger of Sacrifice. So we want to get to this as well to start making this less poking myself and more taking out mobs to fill the altar. Uh, because we will need to do this quite a lot. So let's look at just blank runes. Okay, so blank rune is crafted like so. Uh, which requires a, a orb, just a blood orb. So let's go blood magic uh, orb. What's our first tier? So it looks like a weak blood orb, which is a diamond. So let's grab a diamond. 
Let's toss that in here, and this will slowly take life essence out of there and be done. Of course, it's going to be a little bit less than slow because, of course, we already have uh, that tech acceleration, but that is fantastic. So uh, this is our actual life network. This will be how you use certain sigils and everything like that is you'll start filling this up. So this is also, of course, a crafting ingredient as well as a uh, useful item to have. So let's go stone and let's toss that in there. So we're going to basically want to probably automate this in a sense to start making these uh, blank slates and things. Um, but that'll be whenever we actually get the ability to make uh, the actual sword, the Dagger of Sacrifice. Because I want to try some things. Uh, and I don't know if they'll work, but we're going to try them nevertheless. I don't want diorite in there. I just want normal stone. Okay. Uh, and we're going to need to get six more of these uh, actual first tier runes. What are they called? Blank slates. Okay. So let me get six more of those and we'll be right back. All right. So there's eight of those. And what we're going to do is we're just going to punch a hole into the ground for now. Which is getting eight blank runes, placing those around here where we just took out the dirt. And that'll make this a tier two. Okay, so let's fill this back up here. And we're going to want to look at Blood Magic, Orb. Uh, we're just going to want to try and grab the second tier as quickly as possible, which is a block of redstone. Okay. You basically want to prevent this thing from running out of uh, essence, by the way, because the thing is is once it runs out of essence it actually takes more to then get the item actually operational because there's actually an internal tank inside the blood altar that once like white particle effects start spewing out of this it means that basically you're wasting life essence and the thing has to kind of restart in a sense but yeah this will give us a higher tier uh, blood orb there are of course tiers so this is the tier two tier one tier three tier four tier five uh is there a tier six in here uh blood and we'll just do orb there is the archmages which is a tier five okay so there's not tier six but there is a tier five okay but yeah that also confirms that the this uh, is a uh, tier two altar there is a sigil we could look at real quick if we can craft it called the divination sigil uh this thing right here this requires a chemical array though okay uh, but this is actually quite useful because it tells you a lot of information about your personal uh, life network and also the uh, blood altar and what tier it is and how much it can store and, and a little bit of information like that. So, yeah, let's quickly look at... Let me eat another relic apple. These relic apples aren't cheap, but if you have the resources, they seem to be pretty decent for doing this kind of shenanigans. So, definitely something to look at there. Okay. Um... So Blood Altar, you can look in here and see the different tiers as well. So yeah, Dagger of Sacrifice is what we're going to go for next. Um, Dagger of Sacrifice, so just an iron sword. And then toss that in there. Pick our finger a few times. There we go. And so basically, if I were to have a mob spawn on near this altar... I don't... What is the uh, range of this? Uh, tier 2 altar. You can look into life essence from something other than yourself. The dagger of sacrifice will allow you to sacrifice any mob, passive or monster, that stands within two blocks of your altar. So basically, we need to kind of think about how, that, how far that is. So I would think we'd want one block here, two blocks here. So I think our limit's like right there. So what we could try is getting a slab. Uh, slab, let's just do stone, doesn't matter. And then they could stand here and we still have access to the actual altar itself. Okay, and I think we could do, yeah, just general, one hole, that'll work. Um... 
kind of thinking how do so basically we want to set up a mob farm right that will hold all the creatures that we are going to take out so basically making a mob spawner let me get that done because we've done it so many times and uh we will be back here in a little bit all right so here's the test guys let's see if we can actually get I hope you hope you hear that sizzle I hope you guys can hear the sizzle, honestly, because I don't know. Yeah, you guys should be able to hear it a little bit. Um, so that little sizzle is actually the thing filling up. Uh, so that is awesome. So this is working. I did turn this off. Uh, one thing you could do is with an entity detector, uh, you could actually turn this on and off. So let's actually do that. So uh, hold on. We probably need to set this before we do anything. So if we look for mobs within a certain range, let's see. So we probably want to make sure oh, that's way too far. Is that a decent one? Yeah. And then let's just go. I think that'll be good. Just setting it like that because we're just looking for hostile mobs. So I would say we want to have uh, less than 20 mobs here. See if I can actually get that. There we go. Uh, so we want less than 20. And that should be good in that range. I think the Y is what we want to look at as well. Okay. So we'll do preview. And then if we set this back here. So if I take out... However many mobs. And also, we're wasting life essence, by the way. Uh, if I wanted to, I could throw my orb in there. And that'll actually gain uh, stuff into my life network real quick. So we're not wasting it too much. And this is set on monster. Let's not do mob. And that's correct. Less than 20. Yeah, let's just keep it on less than. And this is just the one shot. It just basically immediately sacrifices them into the blood altar, which is awesome. So you can see that it turned on, then turned back off. So we're kind of keeping that uh, where it's always going to have at least 20 mobs up here. And nothing else, which is fantastic. Of course, we have the manual switch as well, but that is cool. Okay, and it looks like my actual network is full. But this should allow for us to kind of start messing with some things here. So one of the things I'm kind of curious about is if we were to do a pedestal with an attacker module, could we actually do this? I don't know. I have no idea. Never messed with these two mods together. But let's see. So... Um, work area. Let's grab a work area card. Is this a... No, it's a location. It's a work card. Uh, we need to grab our upgrade tool and convert it. So this... Just change this to a work card. And then do work area. So we'd want to go from this corner. Uh, actually, I want to go from this corner to probably inside of here hold on so we'll say this corner here is that going to allow me to do that why is it not letting me click hold on Okay, position cleared. So first, second, okay, that's all we're looking for. And then if I set this down, doodly do where, okay, so the pedestal's already set. That's what I was looking for. So attacker upgrade with a work area. Give that a dagger of sacrifice. Okay, so no, that's not actually registered as a tool, is it? Hold on, let me test this a little bit further. Because I, I can't... 
hear anything for a second there. No, okay, so this is not registered as a sword. Okay, just, that was a test. That's okay. I was just curious. But, all right, let's get to automating stone then. Um, what I would think is we want a material generator. We could actually set this to basically give us a ton of runes right away, the, the blank slates, basically. Uh, let's set this back to upgrade. And we're going to need to go grab a Silk Touch tool. So Silk Touch pickaxe. So let me do that as well real quick and we'll be right back. All right, so stone, pedestal, material generator, iron pickaxe, which has Silk Touch on it. We'll clear that. I've put a speed upgrade on this as well. So the thing I think we're going to try is doing a drawer uh, with a puller upgrade. Let's grab a piece of dirt here. So let's grab a puller. Uh, and we want to put that in there. Oh, it's already pointing south. Perfect. Okay. Uh, and that's going to pull that. So at laser, we're going to want a laser node to grab our card holder. And we're going to uh, need some item cards, it looks like. That's fine. Uh, do we have any counting upgrades? Okay, so we do have a counter filter thing. So item card, insert, and we're going to do counting filter of stone. And we're only going to want one piece in here. Not 48 or vector plates, goodness gracious. So one piece of stone per operation. Okay, and then we will want to extract out of here. Okay, so then we need another laser node to then push. Oh, that actually gave us a tier two one, which is fine. Um, so we'll want, let's grab a controller. Controller access point. Is that what it used to be called? I thought it was a drawer extension or a controller extension. Now it's called an access point. Interesting. I didn't realize that was a change. Maybe I'm just misremembering, but I thought that was con like considered something different. But anyway, uh, so controller, and then we're going to grab a couple drawers. So one drawer, two drawers. So that's tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four, tier five. Okay. Uh, of course, we can't make all of those tiers, but we're going to kind of keep that as the idea. So we're going to want this slate. As, a, as like a filterable thing. Same thing with that. And we'll just let this go for a second. So we're going to extract everything. And then reinforced. And then blank slate. And then we're going to connect this stuff. So this. Uh, let's not actually do those drawers. Let's do remove. Just for right now since we don't really have anything in them. And then what we'll do is we will do an extract on this side. Okay. Or no, not an extract. Reverse that. So that was extract here. And then we want to make sure we filter this, don't we? Or I guess actually we already are filtering it on the other side. So let's go to the storage controller here. Insert. Okay. And this basically should be set up for automating it, basically. Okay, so all we have to do is kind of stand here, make sure this altar never empties, and that way we're good. Let's see. So is there like a blood magic um, fire extinguish, I think is the sound? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay, and we can just stand here and just... Go to town. Just whack them. And this will give us enough life essence to hopefully get quite a bit of these things. And also, we could do this to where you only get 64 um, with the like downgrade. But I think for right now, this is perfect. Um, I would love to have this more automated. But I think we'll have to get into rituals and stuff from Blood Magic to kind of get to that point. Which is fine. Uh, I don't really want to do that, but it will make things significantly easier because then you never have to touch this again, um, which is pretty decent. So, you know, but yeah, so 
I'm going to let this run uh, off camera here for a little while between this episode and next. And I think we will come back and hopefully have quite a bit of different slates. I think what I might do is do a downgrade. Uh, let's see, the iron downgrade thing here. Just two of them. I think 64 should be enough. Uh, what happens if I throw a copper uh, copper upgrade in here? Does that actually work? So that actually does work. Okay, hold on. Can we get this to be like 128? Like, I'm just pure curious right now. Pure curiosity. Can we make this better? Okay, so let's just grab like 100 planks. Grab quite a few chests. Okay, a handful of drawers. And then let's go for an iron downgrade. So if we put that in there... Okay, let's clear out my inventory a little bit so I can actually... So that does actually nothing. So, okay, so one downgrade. So that would give us 512 instead of that, which is actually better than what I was thinking. Um, and I would assume the more, the higher tier upgrades you put in here, the weirder it gets, right? So we're going to let that go. But right now, we're going to wrap this one up. Uh, and also, before I forget, let's get a lantern place down over here. Uh, let's just place that right there. So we actually have some light. I do apologize for it being a little darker this episode, but thank you guys. Stay awesome. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.